The ability to have assembly variants, batch output jobs and design releases has been around for a while, but the new PCB Configuration Manager takes these concepts a leap forward, giving users a significant confidence boost that the board fabrication and assembly data that they're generating is correct, accurate and up to date. Configurations are set up now using the PCB Configuration Manager found in the Project menu. Project configurations are designed to be used in conjunction with the new release process, so up here you can define which release vault you want to link to the project for storing generated fabrication, assembly and other outputs. You can create as many different configurations as you like, but normally you would have at least one for fabrication of the blank board, and probably also assembly. Underneath each configuration, the different batch output job files that configure the output generators are linked in, so you know that each time you run a release for a given configuration, you'll get consistent output results. Apart from having peace of mind that you know the Gerbers, Drill Files, ODB++, whatever, are all configured correctly and are the same each time that you run a release, you also have the advantage that variant scope can be set at the project configuration level for output generators. So if your design has assembly variants, you can simply set the variant up here, and then each time you run this configuration through the release process, you know that that variant is being used to generate the outputs. In addition to that, the Configuration Manager also warns you if your variant scope is conflicting between the individual output generator, the output job file variant scope, or the configuration variant scope. So it's really hard to release the wrong variant accidentally.